Hi everyone, I hope you're all well. Welcome back to my channel. This is going to be another video filmed at home. I thought I would do another sort of packing video and if you would have seen my previous video I showed you guys what I carry in my liquids toiletries bag with me so this video is going to be um, me showing you what I pack in my main cabin bag which is just this one so I actually never check in a big case to go into the hold just because I never really pack as, as many things and also I'm quite a light packer so I'm going to be showing you the things that I take with me on every trip. So I'm not going to be packing for a specific trip just because I'm actually off for another week. I'm going to be putting everything in my suitcase that I usually have with me. So I'm not going to put any jeans or like coats or anything in there but I'll just be showing you the basic stuff that I always always have in my case okay. So let's get started. Okay, so first of all, one of the essentials is this cardigan. So this is a cardigan that I'm allowed to wear on board over my shirt uh, with my skirt, obviously. So it's always actually quite cold on the plane and this cardigan is an absolute lifesaver. So this is going right in here. There you go. Okay, next up is a pocket mask. And for some of you who don't fly, it might be a bit lag, huh? What is that? Or why do you have that with you? So it comes in a little case like this and if I can open it then I can show you what's inside it. Okay, so it's opened and this is just like a pocket mask. Basically in medical situations when someone isn't well and we need to give them oxygen, we're not allowed to touch their mouth but we use one of these things. So it goes, actually goes on like this and then we could attach like a tube and stuff like that. So. Anyway, uh, touch wood. I haven't actually had to use one of these before and let's hope that I will never have to use it. But uh, yeah, so this is actually just one of the requirements that we have to have with us. So this is going right in there as well. Then I also have this little pouch that goes onto my skirt just on this side. It's like a little um, holder. So it's got a zip and we can put like pens. Oh, it was open. We can put like pens, um, little lip balms. Because our skirt doesn't have any pockets, this actually comes in quite handy because the plane is so big and if we need to have something on us, I don't know. Um, this isn't actually necessary for us to wear it. Quite a few girls do, quite a few don't. I think it's just personal preference, but yeah, I usually do just have this in my bag just in case I need it. Then I also always have an adapter with me. I usually just have the one... Ooh, that converts from an English plug into American plug just because I do I do spend the majority of my uh, time in the US and the Caribbean I think it's the same but if I do go anywhere else I think in India it's the same as at home and stuff so and also if I don't have it on me um, I usually do rely on the hotel to have it which I know isn't amazing but and also most of the um, hotels do like a USB plug so then I could just use the USB instead of having to worry about this but yeah I always do have this with me as well Next up is my hairbrush. I use this hairbrush. It's quite um, useful I think because you could fold it up. It's by the brand Wet and uh, it's the Brush Pro. really like this. I actually got this in one of the um, subscription boxes that I get every month so I'm sure you could find this in Boots or something. Next up I have my sunglasses just in case I need it even though for some reason I'm not a big like sunglasses girl but yeah so this is just the one that I carry with me. It's similar to the uh, Ray-Ban one but this is just the the one from H&M. So yeah and then I've just got this little thing to put in there so it doesn't break or anything. Next up I have this headband with me. Um, I don't really use this but I, as you can see it's actually quite creased. I think I got this from H&M and usually sometimes when I do my makeup or maybe if I'm doing a face mask then I'll just put this over my head but I don't really use this but you know just in case I do need it I do carry it with me. Next up is a spare pair of tights. I, because I need to wear tights on every single flight, this is an absolute essential in case I get ledges in it or rip it in random places. So obviously it doesn't look very good when you're um, working in ripped tights. So yeah, always have a pair with me. I actually get the legs. It, so the brand is called Legs and I get them from the US. They're in like a blue package and they're about $6-$7 each. 
Um, so yeah, I really really like these. They add more of like a matte colour to your legs instead of like a super shiny look, if you know what I mean. And it is sun kissed or sun tan, so it's quite tan. So if you're a cabin crew and you're looking for very good tights that will last you forever and look really nice and are comfy, I definitely suggest these. And also I actually do wear them in a size large because I hate tights to be like very uncomfortable and I do bloat and I do need to wear them for a really long time so need to make sure that they're really comfy. Next up I just carry these like cotton pads with me. This is to help me take my makeup off of my micellar water. So I mean I just really recently started putting this in my bag because I did just used to take like 10 or something in my makeup bag. Next up I have my selfie stick and this actually is like one of the best things especially when you're traveling on your own. I am very annoyed though because this hasn't been working very well. I got this from like a random market in San Francisco because if you've seen my previous vlogs you know that it, I got it taken off me in a nightclub in Vegas and then I went to San Francisco I bought this one but it's just not as good. Next up I have my toothbrush uh, in a little holder that I carry with me everywhere. Probably looks a bit dirty, I promise you it's not, it's just like the water and like some dried toothpaste probably but yes. Uh, this also never ever comes out of my bag so I've got my toothbrush that I've got at home and then this is for like travelling only so this will always always stay in my bag. Next up I have this little scarf. Um, that I usually have with me. It's either this one or like another pattern, sort of depends what I like at the moment. So I sometimes just use it to like tie in my hair when my hair is in like a low ponytail or sometimes put it around my neck, although that looks a bit weird. Or I usually just tie it around my bag or something. I don't know, it's just, um, it's just cute. I guess it adds to the outfit. And I always also have my bikini with me, um, whether I'm going to New York in the winter, whether I am going to the Caribbean, I will always have a pair of bikini on me, just because you never really know, like, most of the hotels that we stay at probably have a pool, or if I'm going to the spa or something, I do always just like to have a bikini on me, and I do throw, like, random ones in there, so this one, as you can tell, doesn't really match, but as long as there's a bikini in this bag, I don't really mind. Okay, next up, we have this little, it's like another little toiletries bag, although I just have more cotton pads and, like, more facial wipes and stuff like that in here. I've only just recently started to take this with me as well, and it's got my name on it. Bit dirty, though, but yeah, it's cute. Most trips, well actually all the trips, I have been putting my gym stuff in my bag as well just in case I go to the gym. I can't say I've been to the gym that many times in the whole like uh, time that I've been flying for but I do always have my gym stuff in there just in case. So I've just got my gym trousers, they are long leggings, I believe they are from Primark I think. Then I also have this like sports bra thing, this is from Forever 21 and then I also just have this little top to go over and this is from Forever 21 as well. So yeah, this is always in my bag and then I also always make sure that I have my trainers in my bag but they're, they're downstairs at the moment. Next up I have this little clutch that I always carry with me as well. So in here we have random things really, I mean, so I've got some hair accessories in here, I've got some hair ties and like um, pins and stuff like that. I have individual um, makeup removers, this is from Neutrogena, I got this from Ulta quite a few months ago when I was in the US. And then I also have this little lamp thing which it is working. It's like one of those things that you like attach onto your phone and then it makes your pictures more bright. I mean I don't really use this but it's just in here anyway. And I've also got loads of random necklaces that I got from one of my last trips from um, when I was in India so anyway this is like a random bag sort of thing but if we are going out and, the, and if this is the only bag that I have packed with me then I'll put like my card and my ID and my phone and things like that in here so yeah and this is from uh, Victoria's Secret it's got cute little tassel things on it and one of these then I also always have a little bag with me just in case we do go out to be honest no I don't have a bag with me on every flight but I do sometimes I'm really bad and don't always prepare for maybe like a social evening so I'll pack just like lazy stuff and then actually we've got a really sociable crew and we'll go out and do something and then I'm a bit like oh 
shit, why didn't I take a bag or why didn't I take proper shoes? So yeah, I always have this bag with me. This is from a little boutique or like a little um, page on Instagram. So follow me on Instagram and you can find out where I've got this bag from. I usually also always bring my hair uh, straighteners or my hair curlers, usually it's my hair straighteners with me and these are from like a random brand, not sure but if you go back and watch one of my YouTube, uh, watch one of my New York vlogs then I've mentioned this one. Also I do carry this bag with me, so this is like a trip bag and this actually goes on top of my case onto like the handle part because it's got one of these things so this is super super handy and I think I got this from their website maybe for like 20 pounds or something on sale so I definitely recommend for you guys to get one of these I think this is more of like a laptop bag I'm not really sure I don't really know what it's called either but it is so so handy I will usually always put my liquids in here just because I do need to get it out for security and then I won't need to open up this bag really so yeah it's just for convenience then I put my makeup bag in here as well and then also like my chargers will go into that bag maybe if I've got any food with me and then also if I have my laptop with me that will usually go into that bag as well just because um, it's quite spacious actually. So as you can see there's still quite some space for me to put my shoes here and like jeans and stuff like that. So yeah, I'll just take this with me, then this trip bag and then also my handbag and to be honest let me tell you that's definitely enough stuff to carry. Um, I've t I usually just take these three bags with me on a one, two nighter. I've also taken these on a three nighter before but um, I mean it's completely like up to you. It's personal preference on how much you pack, how much you don't pack. Most of my colleagues can't actually believe that I never take a bigger bag with with me just because they think that I've got all these like creams and makeup products and like shampoos and other stuff that I never ever take with me so yeah I don't really see the need for me to take anything else with me or to take a bigger bag so this is also sort of why I what I always have in there for like my standbys basically standby for the ones who don't know is something that every cabin crew member has sometimes you have it every month sometimes you have it a few times a year it completely depends on your airline but basically it's sort of like you're on call so if they need you you don't actually have a duty assigned but let's say that you're on like standby one and then you'll be on call from like six in the morning until 12 lunchtime so then in those six uh, hour period your airline has the chance to give you a call and tell you where they need you so maybe someone called in sick or they just generally need you so um, for a flight so then this to have all of this packed is very sort of handy but yeah I hope you guys enjoy this video thank you so much for watching this is actually a video that I've been wanting to do for so long and I'm very happy that I've managed to get around to doing this also if you haven't seen my exploring India vlog then please go watch that as well that was one of the previous video videos that I filmed and the one that I filmed just before this was me telling you guys what I carry in my liquids bag toiletries bag so if you are interested then please go and watch that as well so thank you very much for watching and I will see you in my next video bye